Okay, so this is a look at the TCOM azimuth and elevation control pedestal with the belt panel removed. So what we're seeing is the drive mechanism for the elevation control. At the bottom here we see a DC motor and it's coupled to this 40 to 1 ratio drive assembly which then actually commands the elevation control through a rather large gear in the back. I'd estimate the diameter of that gear to be somewhere in the order of uh, 8 to 10 inches. So I'm sure there's quite a substantial gear ratio. And now if we spin this around using the manual slough, we'll get a look at the other side. And what you can see on the bottom here are the counterweight arms which can be fixed at different angles and it's not a perfect one-to-one -one ratio so you'd have to do a little bit of math to determine how much counterbalance is necessary for the antenna load on the mounting side. Okay, so this is sort of the brains of the mechanism here. Uh, so this is a synchronizing transmitter and as I deflect this a little bit you may see a little bit of motion in the elevation control and that's because that synchro transmitter is reporting the angular position back to the control unit so that it can precisely control the elevation of the antenna assembly and they do use anti-backlash gears here and uh, that helps to increase the precision and this is accurate to 0.1 degrees now what you see here is a limit switch I thought at first this was a potentiometer and in fact uh, that is not the case. It's the limit switch to prevent the elevation control from going beyond its uh, angular limits, if you will.